In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you how you can use Anki 2.0 starting after January 2020 when they are discontinuing support for it. It will involve using Anki 2.1 in order to sync, but you'll still be able to have some functionality from Anki 2.0. Okay, many of you are uh, quite worried about what's going to happen um, when you when the 2.0 is no longer supported and you can't sync. Um, so theoretically, this won't let you sync. But as you can see, this is my uh, typical layout here. I'm on Anki 2.0. I'm going to show you how you can actually switch back and forth between the two. And basically, what you'll do is you'll use Anki 2.0 to study. You'll switch to 2.1 to sync uh, and then close. And I'm going to show you kind of what you do. So I'm going to go to Anki Switch Profile. Switch Profiles here real quickly. And uh, I'll close this. We're going to need this in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to make a new profile name here just for fun. And we'll do Anki Future, all in capitals. And I'm going to start this. And so this is just for example if this is your profile. I'm going to create a deck. Call it Anki Future as well. And in this deck, I'm going to add a card just so that you know uh, exactly what's going on here. Hello everyone, Anki is great. All right, I'm gonna add that card. Now, as you can see, I have not synced. In fact, I just created that card, I just created that profile. What I'm gonna do is close Anki. Now I'm going to open Anki 2.0. I've actually got them done here and I just changed the image and I renamed the file. Now the way to do this, uh, let's pull this finder back up, is when you want to download them, before you download the other one, so if you have 2.0 or 2.1, it doesn't matter, before you download the other one, you need to go into your application and actually change the name. So it would come out like this, or it would come out like Anki, and I've renamed it to Anki 2.0. Once I've done that, then you could go and download 2.1. So uh, that, that's a very important step. Once you've done that, then you can download the other one, uh, and I've renamed it as well, just and added this cool picture here, um, just to make it easy. But I'm going to restart this, and I've got all these profiles here that I've already been using, but I'm going to add a new profile, and we're going to call it Anki Future, just like we just made, and open it. And if we did everything right, as you can see, the deck that I made is there, and if we go into the card, the card is there as well just like that, and then you should be able to sync from there. So it's just important that the profiles are named the same thing, and, and, and then you'll be able to switch to 2.1 real quickly to sync, and then when you're done syncing, you can close this and go back to 2.0. Um, now the other thing, if we, I'm just gonna close this real quick, uh, is with 2.0, supposedly you will not be able to use the add-ons uh, to actually download from the Anki web anymore. Um, because it won't be supported. So normally you used to be able to go to browse and install, put the code in here. What you'll have to do is add-ons and then you'll have to go to open add-ons folder. Uh, it'll pull up here with all of these and you'll actually need to drag and drop the folders and the Python files into this folder and then restart. So it's just a manual add. So you'll still be able to use 2.0. Uh, it'll just be a little bit uh, difficult with an extra step there for syncing. So good luck with everything. Thanks for learning with The Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnkingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.